started. Hello, world. What is up? Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man, welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte, and we are here live at the Build studio in New York City. And joining me in just a few short moments to talk all about season two of the Netflix original series, Greenhouse Academy, the great Ariel Mortman is here. How about that? Make some noise. Yeah. Now, the story behind the show is actually super interesting. You see, uh, Greenhouse Academy is, is adapted from the original Israeli Nickelodeon drama show, The Greenhouse, which ran for, get this, 175 episodes. So this show picks up eight months after uh, brother and sister Alex and Haley Woods lose their astronaut mother to a catastrophic launch uh, systems failure. It blows up, right? So they both enroll in the Greenhouse Academy, which is a private boarding school for gifted future leaders. Uh, they join two competing houses, kind of like a Harry Potter thing almost. They become rivals, and as I'm sure you can imagine, drama ensues. Then there's mysteries, conspiracies, secret investigations. Before you know it, the fate of the very planet itself is at stake, people. Yes, it escalates quite quickly. Uh, season one of Greenhouse Academy was released on Netflix back in September, and after one hell of a cliffhanger, season two finally drops today. Uh, we'll bring Ariel out in a uh, second, and we're going to talk all about the show, but before we do that, I believe we have a little teaser, a little clip from season two, so uh, Luke, let's go ahead and run that clip. Hey! Help! Save your voice, Brooke. We need to talk. He didn't mention he has a girlfriend. I just wanted you to know that I have no idea she planned to give up London for me. I found a secret safe in my mom's bedroom. And inside there was a note with a phone number on it. It's not a normal phone. Some weird device I found in my mom's bag. Something is going on. We have to figure out what it is. You think Brooke saw this yet? Brooke? When Brooke was gone all day, where was she? How can you do this to me? We've known each other for years. I was Daniel's girlfriend. Your mom was a wonderful woman and a hero, and she's dead. My mom is alive and well, and I can't even look at her in the eye. You remember how I used to get so mad at Dad when we would talk about Mom as if she's still alive? What if he was right? Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Ariel Morgan, right here. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Uh, congratulations on this. And seriously, thank you for carving out some time uh, and, and coming to hang out with us. It means a lot that thank you're here Thank you today. for having me. No and course. I just want to make sure everyone knows this is not my real voice. You poor thing. I know. I woke up like this and I'm like, the one thing I need is my voice. And oh like, that's what goes. Well, you are a trooper. And again, we <laughs> truly, truly appreciate you uh, braving, braving the harsh conditions here and hanging out with us. For the build. I'll make sure that all of the questions require brief answers. <laughs> I'll do my best. No, you're Good. Um, okay, well, I kind of already know the answer to this, but I always love starting out when I have a guest on this show. Before we get into the project, before we get into the thing that, that they're here to talk about, it's just outside of the voice thing, how are you doing? How I'm great. I'm <laughs> so excited for the second season. I'm really, like, happy it's out and getting already so much good feedback. I mean, I'm already getting text messages from kids saying that they finished the second season. No way. They went right through it. They went right through it. They just binged it all. That's insane. That's crazy. Well, it is. It's out today, right? So of course today is the day to do it. People are going nuts. They're really enjoying it. Uh, I'm excited about that. Now you live in New York, right? Or, or do you live? I know I, you also. I live in Tel Aviv. Actually, you live in Tel Aviv. Okay, so you bounce back and forth. Yeah. Uh, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I'm I'm really excited to get into this show because season one uh, ended with uh, a very very big sort of reveal and cliffhanger, which we kind of see in the little teaser right there. Does season two pick up right where we left off? Uh, what where, where does it kick things off? Where does the action start? Season two picks up right where season one ended and basically goes deep into the mystery, deep into the drama. There was a big cliffhanger in the end of the season one, and it just picks up from there, and all the mystery continues and gets darker. Oh, it gets sure. darker in season oh, two. Oh, yeah. It gets a lot darker in season oh, two. That's exciting. That is yeah. exciting. You know, in season one, when we meet uh, Haley, we get to see a very, fa- you do a great, like, journey as a character. You know, you start off in the very beginning, she's sort of a reluctant and role as at this school, and she doesn't really want to be there. And then uh, by, by, you know, midway through, she's a different person. She's a part of the school. She's really there. What is the journey like for, for Haley in season two? What, 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 what are we looking for here? Season two, Haley gets a little bit more complex because she's figuring out that things are going on and slowly the mystery unravels and 
she just is determined to get to the bottom of this. And season two has a lot of the Eagles and the Ravens working together as a team. And it gets pretty intense. Yeah, I can imagine. The Eagles-Ravens thing is so much fun. I, I, I always wonder uh, when, when you have to pick a side in something like this, do you feel outside of the show, real world, Ariel, are you an Eagle or a Raven? Where do you land? Oh, that's a good question. Thank, um, thank you. I, I work very hard them. on this. <laughs> I have to say, I'm a raven at heart, but I got a little eagle in me. I yeah. got a little that sports side in me and the little hard attitude. Sports side, what's uh, what, what are your what are your favorite sports? What do you play? What do you run around with? Um, I used to do tennis growing up, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now with the Olympics and everything happening, and there was just the Australian Open, I was like watching all of that. Yeah. That's really cool. How you feel about Winter Olympics? You keeping up? I know there's no tennis in it, but no, but there's snowboarding that I was just watching, and like, amazing, yes, right? amazing, unbelievable. Like, good for Good for the USA. Yeah, like, no, yeah, a lot of a lot job. of victory there. Yeah, it was it was really exciting, but also like amazing drama too. It wasn't just like a sealed deal. You got to like Sean White, the last run. Oh my, everybody's on the edge of their I seat. Know, You're watching. I know. I know. I, I don't know. I was on the edge of my seat. I was, I was on the edge, and I felt proud for him. <laughs> All right, let's let's bring it back to greenhouse. Yeah. Uh, so, is there something? Uh, that you got to do, since we talk about uh, Haley's becoming more complex, her characters uh, becoming more filled out, more robust, was there something as an actor that you got to do in season two that maybe you didn't have a chance to do in season one that you're really excited about? Um, actually, there's a lot that I got to do in season two. There is a specific scene that now that the season's out, I could say there is a drowning scene in season two that if people have started watching it, they'll see it. Yeah. Um, that was probably the hardest shooting day ever because there's no way of fake drowning. So you're Man. almost kind of drowning and we did that for about eight hours. That's that's pretty wild. So eight hours you were in the water. Eight hours I was in the water, fake drowning. You must have been so pruney. That's <laughs> so really, and really cold. That is a long time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was that, um, was that your first experience uh, with a water scene like that before, acting in a uh, yes, like that or something? Definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely. But we had an amazing crew, an amazing team, and like I had like a lifeguard right next to me, so it was all good. But I knew I was safe, but... Faking that was not easy. Yeah, for sure. That's that's a really scary situation, even with yeah. all of those safety nets exactly. there. Exactly. Because in the in the heat of the moment too, it, it starts it starts to feel real when Definitely. those cameras are going, when you're trying to sort of embody that moment. Wow. Yeah, but it you feel the intense. Yeah, it will reads on yeah, screen, right? Exactly. Like it comes across for sure. Uh, let's go back a little bit. How did you? How did your path lead to Greenhouse Academy? How did you get involved with the show? Um, actually, it's a funny story. So I've been acting for a little bit and I was backpacking in Japan, um, just decided to do that. And when I was out there, my agent started sending me audition tapes for this. And I'm surrounded by loud Australians and I, I'm like, okay, I'll do the self tape and I'm not gonna get this. Um, and I was taping it and the day after, they're like, okay, they liked you. They want to see you again. That's wild. So we're, you're backpacking in Japan. Do they yeah. literally self-tape like on your phone and oh, send yeah, it Yeah, in? like literally off the iPhone with like some people in the hostel reading it with me. Uh, just doing like, line reads with you. Exactly. That's amazing. Yeah. And from that, I got the role. And you got the role and you came on in. Well, I guess that answers my other question because this is not, like you said, you've been acting for a little bit. This is this is your first sort of big uh, international sort of stateside role that we're yeah. getting to see you. But uh, you were on, I want to say it was a Disney, is. Uh, Israel Dis Disney show North Star, right? Yes, yes. Um, I did that for two seasons. Did that for two seasons. I imagine the audition process was a little different for that. That was more in room, yeah. in front of director, not on an iPhone. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Uh, I heard a story somewhere uh, that when you found out that you got the role that um, everybody found out at the same time. Yeah, it was yeah. amazing. We were all out there for the last set of auditions and we got all called back slowly and, wait, I'm just gonna take a sip. Take a sip, please take your time, absolutely. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're all in a room and we're slowly realizing that one person is here for each character. And we're like, okay, let's not jump the boat. And then, uh, and then someone came in from Netflix saying, okay, we just need to check everyone's height, which we thought was weird, but okay. And we walk in and we don't understand because there's in front of us like 12 executives like smiling and clapping. And we look behind us and there's a huge sign that says, welcome to the Greenhouse Academy. Wow. 
And that's how we all found out we got the role. Had you not gotten the role, that's a very scary room to walk into. Just oh, 12 yeah. executives smiling and clapping for no reason. Definitely. I know, we got the part. Fantastic. Definitely. And this is all good stuff. Yes, yeah, that's exciting. exactly. Um, so you get the role. It's amazing. As I, we just touched on, this is sort of the first time uh, that you're taking lead here in sort of a more international stateside kind of show. Uh, but interestingly enough, even though it's set in California, you guys filmed in Tel Aviv, right? We did. We yeah. filmed two and a half months in Tel Aviv. Two and a half months. Wow. Yeah. Was there a sense, even though this is the first sort of big international gig, that uh, like a familiarity because you've worked on sets in Tel Aviv before? Yeah, it was nice also just because I grew up and there, grew so up I knew there. the area. But we had all the actors fly in, and like I got to show them the city, and it was like a lot oh, of fun. Oh, were you like like hometown girl? Like, oh, you knew yeah, the area. yeah, yeah. We went out. We had a lot of fun. That's yeah. pretty amazing. Wow. All right, so uh, you said two and a half months it yes. was to film this thing. Uh, did you do uh, both seasons back to back, or no? Was there a break we in between? We filmed both seasons together. Yeah. Amazing. Yep. So now we got season one and two. We're waiting to find out if season three and then you guys get all back together. It's like a summer camp and you'll get back Fingers out there. Crossed. Fingers crossed, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel pretty good about it. Did you ever, um, you know, we talked a little bit earlier, too, that this was inspired by uh, the, the Nickelodeon Israeli television original, 138, 170 some odd episodes. Did you ever watch the original show? I did. After I got the role, I watched the show. Um, and it is the same in a way but it's also very different just because this is based in california so it has a little bit more of that sun water beach vibe to yeah, it a little more of a beachy vibe yeah. to it did you have to cut yourself off at a certain point because there's so many twists and turns in the story like you don't want to find out where everything's gonna you don't want to have all the answers or do you like to have that as an actor? no i at some point was like okay i just also want to read the scripts and see what's going to happen there yeah i was like curious to see if they're going to change it up a bit there's um there's a whole bunch uh, of drama going on on screen. We've talked about that. That's kind of the nature of the yes. show. It's a very dramatic show. It makes it so much fun to watch. Uh, off camera, what's it like? A lot of drama, a lot of friends just um, kind of buddying around. What's the vibe like? We all like we all get along so amazing. When you film two and a half months together, there is sometimes drama, but uh, nothing too big, just long hours. And we all really do love each other and like, Finn Roberts, who plays my brother, Alex Woods, is like my best friend in real life. Yeah. And we just get along great. And it's really fun to make these connections. Did those relationships start early on in the audition process as well and then develop by the time you got, like, you were so excited that you all found out together. Did you guys all audition together and, like, off of one another? Like, how early did that bond start? So, actually, what was really cool is that we pretty much met each other in the audition process. Um, Finn was actually the first actor that I met. And we did our audition, and later on we found out that when Finn and I did our audition together, that that's when they knew that they were going to cast us as Haley and Alex. Wow. At that moment, they, we have the true brother-sister bond. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. What's your... Um I'm going to go back in time again. I'm curious, because you said you've acted for a little while, and I was looking at the IMDb. What's the earliest memory you have as an actor? How far back can you go? Um, I remember, I think it was... Seventh grade, I did. We did um, a theater show of Fiddler on the Roof, <laughs> oh, no way. and I was one of the sisters. And um, that show was interesting enough. But I remember that was like my first real time on stage. Is that when you got, when, like you got bit by the bug? Like, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I Fiddler on the Roof this caught me. <laughs> I hope everything is like Fiddler on the Roof from yeah, here on. Exactly. <laughs> It's pretty amazing. Do you remember your audition for that back in seventh grade? There wasn't even an audition <laughs> process. They were just like, you got the role. And I'm like, okay, hopefully it will be always like this. <laughs> you just walked on in. Walk right in. That's pretty incredible. Uh, we're we're going to turn it over to audience Q&A in a second. Uh, but before we do, again, I want to remind everybody that season two is streaming right now. Uh, you talked a little bit earlier about how you're already getting text messages. And I'm really curious, what's, what's it been like seeing that fan reaction and interacting with the fans? posting and having the conversation about the show because once it's out there it, it really isn't your show anymore it's their show now. yeah so how's that been sort of it's feeling? been amazing just the vibe from all of the people that are watching the show and how much they connect with it and how much they've been waiting for this is just like such an honor for me to give this to them it's like enjoy and i'm so happy that everyone loves it as much as i do 
It's pretty cool. Everybody does seem to love it, and, and there are a lot of fans out there, and it is a really exciting show to yeah. watch. So congratulations Thank on that. Thank you so much. Uh, you're starring in a Netflix original. You're here uh, making a, a big debut. What's the next big thing you want to tackle? What do you What do you got your eyes set on next? At the moment, there is nothing. There's nothing concrete, but hopefully some film role or something like you're looking that. For film. Definitely, yeah. I want to do something like that. Do you want to do something dramatic like Greenhouse? You want to try another genre? What are you hoping for? Um. Yeah, dramatic. I also want to do a little bit of comedy. I yeah. think that will be a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, just like find other really good characters, just like Haley. Very awesome. Well, we're going to turn it over. We've got some microphones in the room. I believe awesome. our first question is going to come from right over here. Hi. Hi. Um, so now that you are able to do a show that's, um, you know, for an international audience, was that transition like, um, like smooth sailing for you or was it um, a little difficult at first? Um, that's a good question. The transition was at sometimes a bit difficult. I had sometimes a dialect coach, which I thought my English was really good, but suddenly they said, like, sometimes you need to sound a little bit more L.A. I also grew up in the East Coast. I grew up in New York City. Um, and then suddenly they're like, you need to get a little bit more Cali. Um, so there was a lot of work to it, but I had a lot of fun with it. Did you like walk around listening to tapes of people speaking in the world? I'd watch like, the OC. <laughs> I'd watch the OC. I'd just like channel that and like get the Marissa wrong. Like, yeah, just like get all those characters. That's pretty amazing. All right, that's what that show's for. Perfect. <laughs> uh, next question's gonna be from right over here. Hi, um, I was wondering uh, who you would like to have guest star on the show. Oh, that's also a good question. A guest star, I think. I don't know, person-wise, but character, it would be fun to like get a new character to like mix things up a bit. Like maybe like be a raven, but want to be an eagle, or like try and like mix things between the teams. And maybe like a secret agent, somebody yeah. who is a raven but is really an eagle. Exactly. Or vice versa. I'm not married to which one they're actually. What are I you? I don't. I don't know. I think I want to. You have to make a decision. I have to. This is live. I. I would. I think. I think. It better part be good. Me, like, <laughs> Well, I was going to say, I, I want to be able to say eagle, but I think it's more raven, honestly, good is job. the truth. That's Thank a you. good yeah. answer. Thank you. <laughs> well, you put me on the spot, honestly, but uh, that's how you get to the truth, really. Yeah. We've got time. Do I have time for any more questions? Can I do one more? I can do, I'm getting this, I can do one more. We've got one more question. It's going to be right here. Hi. Um, Hi. So since Hang on. Wait a second. Oh. Eagle or raven? Raven. Yes. <laughs> well, there I was we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so since this is a show on Netflix, I was wondering what are what Netflix shows are you binging? Ooh, um, I just watched End of the World. That was amazing. You can, you can say it as the internet. Oh, okay. You can say it if you don't want to. You don't have to. I'm just letting you know. I appreciate um, <laughs> your consideration, though. But that show's amazing. Like, I loved it. Those two kids are just killing it. They're, yeah. like, so good. Um, Stranger Things, of course. Of course. And um, I just saw that Fargo is on it, season three. Wait, season three's on there now? Yeah. And I'm like, I okay, I got to watch that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so did you watch season one and two, of, of course. Of course. One of amazing. my favorite TV shows. Yeah, it's incredible. Amazing. Yeah, it's like, why, like a 10-hour movie. But yeah. Like a great movie yeah. that you great don't want to end. Great characters, great show. Yeah. We're going to spend the next 20 minutes talking about Fargo. If we can get the Fargo graphic up here, that would be... We don't have, we don't have that. We don't have that. All right. Uh, in fact, yep, we got to wrap it up. Um, okay, so before we get out of here, uh, again, the Greenhouse Academy, season one and two are on Netflix right now. If you haven't watched it, get out there and watch it. It's it's such a great show. It's so much fun. Uh, I'm so excited that you could be here. Uh, Thank everybody, you so please, much. Round of applause. Join me in thanking Ariel Morgan for being here.